and I'm coming back down to say, this is what you do. You're not a man until you move like this. Most males will die, never experience what it feels to be a man and to be complete respected by his women and children because he didn't step into that true king place. Brother, it's hard. I understand. It's difficult. I but understand. Do you understand, though? Brother, Do you understand? Brother, if I didn't understand, I would There's no be way possible you could understand. Oh, crazy. No way. Why? Well, it's hard. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm back with another episode of Foolery. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Let's get to the hard question. Having that conversation with your homeboy. That is the hardest, the hardest, when you know he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. As a man in a relationship, he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, and you try to talk to him. And they will look at your situation as if you have no idea what you're talking about. Because you're not still down here. You done moved up in life. They're still down here. They never, they never got it. But when you try to talk to them and help them because they're your boys. So this is where we at with this conversation here. A young man tries to tell another young man, you know, some things he needs to do. Make some changes, uplift your life. And all he keeps getting back is dude telling him how he don't know how hard it is out here. So before we kick it off, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and definitely, definitely hit that notification bell to get the next video. So no further ado, let's jump on this. Talking to your homeboy. Let's go. It's hard out here. And you talking about, oh, I'm not a man if I'm going 50-50 with my woman. Mm -hmm. It's hard, brother. Mm -hmm. You sitting up here, your nice house, your nice jewelry, nice cars. Oh, yeah, man. You, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta do 100%. How? Mm -hmm. How, brother? Mm -hmm. If I'm making $14 an hour, what you, what you expect? Mm -hmm. You know? You still on there? Oh yeah, man. A hundred percent. You're not a man. You're not a man. How? I'm still working. Mm. I'm still providing, right? Mm. So what makes me not a man? Mm. Cause I'm going 50 50 with my woman. Mm. Mm. And brother, I applaud you because I understand that it is hard out here, but we are men. So we have to go hard dirt. I'm not saying or trying to speak down to you, my brother, by any means necessary. I'm not. But I want you to be reminded of something that our fathers didn't teach us, that we must go hard and that we shouldn't get into a relationship with a woman until we have direction. But who are you to say that? A person that cares, a person that loves you, a person that's been in your shoes and understands how it feels when we can't give our family what they truly deserve. We have to go hard. Now, give me one moment. I've been in your shoes. And when I was in your shoes, I stayed in my lane. I lived where I lived. My woman didn't work. She nurtured to the children till I got this. And I'm trying to give you the, the, the cheat code. Do what you need to do so you can feed your woman. And while she's nurturing the children, she can also nurture your dreams and your goals. Now you can be successful. Now you don't have to say I'm working for $15. Now you can say I got employees that I'm paying that's working for me for $15. I'm trying to elevate you. But men get so caught in their emotions and their pride. And the first thing you want to do is feel attacked. Get the wisdom. Now this where it gets hard. Nobody, nobody wants to be told. And so many words like you're a figure. We get it. We understand. It. That's why we're talking one on one. But when the only thing you can see is you talking down to me. Why are you here then? Because there's people out here that wouldn't give a crap and let you just sit out here. He's trying to help you and bring you up with him. But you you so caught up in looking around at his life. Well, you don't get it. You don't understand. I had people tell me that, oh, you don't know what it's like out here. And then I have to go through the whole 
Negro explanation and tell them where I grew up. You got to go through all that, like I say, that Negro explanation, the hood explanation. I got to be from the hood. I got to be from the trenches. I got to be from the hole for you to understand. My hole to get out, well, I went to the military. That's how I got out of it. I always tell people that. One of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Because not only did I need to get out the hole, I needed that discipline, and I needed that struggling, and I needed that structure. This is coming from a rich man. But right now, you're acting from a rich man. But right now, you're acting from a rich man. But this is coming from a rich man. But how man. do I get here? Yeah. But how do I give you, and I'm giving you the steps. This is, if you put down your ego, if you put down your pride, brother, am I saying anything wrong? I'm saying men should be men. But you're saying we're not men. You're I, saying we're not brother, men. Brother, brother, any man that makes an excuse can't be a man completely. You can be a male. A man comes with responsibilities, and it's hard. To be a man, it's hard, brother. It's not easy. That's why the respect you want from your woman that you don't get, I get from mine. You know, my woman respect me. Hold on, hold on. My woman respect me. You think she respects you. My woman respect me. You think she yeah, respects right, you. Okay, so now we get to the second part. And this is where a lot of guys don't want to hear it. Yes, you are getting up every day. You are going to work. But you're not making the money. Properly take care of the family like they need to be taken care of. Like he said, he's making $14 an hour. I didn't hear him say, I have another job. Why are you working one job? What is holding you back from working a second job? And I see this all the time. I see it with two couples in a relationship and they struggling. And me and my wife both ask people, so why don't y'all have a second job? And they just look like, huh? Go get another job and get out the hole. And they just sitting there like, they prefer to go borrow money. Ask for money they can't pay back. You, you're not going to get the respect. And I had a homeboy that I tried to tell him the same thing. Brother, you got to push harder. He got to about $16, $16, dollars an hour and sat on his ass. Trying to do no more. He think that's a whole lot of money. Now, this dude making $14, little $2,200 a, a, a month. The other dude making 14 what, about maybe $2,300, $2,400. Come on, guys. This economy is crazy. And I told him. Your wife is not going to respect you until you get all these things in order. And I can't tell him no more because he got mad because I told him. And that's what I'm telling you. These guys' egos, they want the help until you try to give them the help. Yeah, you I think she was, has she ever raised her voice at no, you? No, no. Does she cook for you every night, Of brother? course. So she respects you. Cooks for you every night. Does she clean the house? Of course. She cleans the house, and you got her working 16 hours a day. Hmm. You, oh, mm, hmm. Hmm. That sounds like slavery. No, it's not. Brother, you got her cooking every I night. I don't have her doing anything. She does it because she wants to. We're in the trenches together. The trenches together? That's what we in. Brother, do you know anything about emotional abuse? Explain it. Emotional abuse is when you pour all your hurt and pain onto a woman and just because you can't see her scars, you think it's okay. If I had a conversation with your woman, she'll probably start crying. They tired. They not built to go through what they, they're going through with you. She didn't choose you to struggle. But again, who are you to say that? Brother, a brother that loves you. And again, I'm trying to give you the cheat code. If you put yourself in a position, right, you work. If you have to get two jobs. If you have to get two jobs, you grind, allow your woman to do what she does in the home. If you have a business idea, you have her nurture that, hey, baby, it's going to be a little hard for the next two years. But if we move like this, we're going to be good. You keep saying, who am I to tell you this? A man that's been in your position, a man that has risen above your circumstances. And I'm coming back down to say, this is what you do. You're not a man until you move like this. Most males will die, never experience what it feels to be a man and to be complete respected by his women and children because he didn't step into that true king place. Brother, it's hard. I understand. It's difficult. I but understand. Do you understand, though? Brother, Do you understand? Brother, if I didn't understand, I would There's no way possible you could understand. Oh, crazy. No way. With all that he's tried to tell him and say, what did dude go right back to? You don't understand. I told you, they keep thinking that.
I'm sitting here, this man trying to tell him how to get out the hole, get a business and all this and that. And he don't want to hear it because he's caught in his feelings. That's all it is, his feelings. You don't know. Your wife is not doing all that. And he answered was too quick. His wife is not. She's probably hoping he would do better, do something else. She might love him and try and support him. And that's the thing. Some of you men sitting out here, y'all have a good woman at home, but y'all taking advantage of And y'all know y'all can get fired, quit a job, not go to work, waste some of your money, and she's still going to be there for you. Why? I have no freaking idea. But she might still be there. Maybe because of the kids, or she just love your weird But it's got to change because women getting tired of it. They talk about it every day. There's women that end up with these type of dudes, and that's who the ones they talking about. And I always tell them, don't get with these dudes if they ain't got their shit together. At a certain age, as an adult, you about 25, you need to have some things. By 30, you definitely need to have some things. So if y'all dating a man over 30 don't have a car, a house, or a job, it's on you. If you can't keep those, it's still on you. Move on. And that's what that guy means when he said your wife don't truly respect you because those are the things you are expected to have and when you don't have all these things that's when she's looking at you weird she's wondering when you're gonna get right she's tired now what he said you tomorrow she at home cooking and cleaning and doing all this stuff and you got one job making 14 dollars an hour I'm gonna come home and act as if you the man you see what i'm saying but guys we have to do our part got to because you're gonna raise your kid up and your kid ain't gonna know no better and start doing the dumb shit he got to get off his ass. I don't care. Dude can tell him he may not own a business, but you can go work for a better business. Now, I don't know what you did in your life to mess your life up where you look like you might be 30-something, 34, 5 years old, making $14 an hour, so you're probably working at a restaurant somewhere. Go get a trade on your off time. If you can't get a second job, go get a trade. Heating, air, plumbing, electrician, brick masonry, go get a trade. Most of the vocational schools offer this. Vocational uh, techs they all offer this stuff. So don't sit around here and act as if it can't happen. So guys, y'all hit me in the comments. Let's get this conversation started. Anybody, this might this might hit home for some of you. Let's talk about it. Let's get it off your chest. All right. So, and that's it for me. It's your boy, Mr. Nobody. <laughs> and I'm up out of here. And y'all remember, stay vibing. And click on that next video that pops up in that little screen. Peace.